During their visit to Baltimore, Maryland, we met up with newlyweds Megan Good, famous actress of the hit TV show Deception, and Devon Franklin, senior vice president of Columbia Pictures and author of Produced by Faith at the historical Berea Temple Seventh-day Adventist Church. Nearing the celebration of their first of many anniversaries, this handsome couple shared some precious tidbits of their friendship and marriage. It's grown quite a bit. I mean, every day, I think that the more that we're uh, around each other and the more we experience together, um, you know, the stronger that friendship uh, becomes, you know, and the friendship is really the foundation, you know, of our marriage. So, I mean, that's kind of the good thing. It's like we're learning and growing as husband and wife and then also as, as friends. Yeah, and I think one of the big things is, you know, when you when you love each other, you already trust each other, but I think that we're learning that there's so many more levels of how deep that trust can go and how it can just, um, in some ways, go even deeper than, you know, what you've experienced with your own family. It's just like a level of rawness and um, honesty that's sometimes even hard to have with yourself, to be able to have that between each other, I think, just kind of grows us. Devon and Megan offered some sound advice for singles navigating boundaries within relationships. Um, my advice to young women is, you know, don't compromise. Um, you know, your body is the temple and also uh, it's precious, it's sacred. And a lot of times what I find with young women is that that's one of the first things that they give away. You know, and there are a lot, a lot of brothers out there, you know, and when I say brothers, I mean just brother in Christ, you know, it doesn't mean that they're brother African-American necessarily. Um, but a lot of young men out there who may not have always been grown up in the right type of homes where they understand how to deal with their own sexuality, they're out there trying to figure it out too. So what happens is that when a young girl gives that up because she believes that'll lead to love, a lot of times it doesn't. It leads to a lot of pain, a lot of heartache. So I, my advice to young women is, you know, value yourself. You know, really, really look at um, how you share your body, who you share your body with. And of course, you know, uh, the encouragement is to abstain from sharing your body with anybody uh, but your husband, you know, because I, I've just seen so many people, especially young women, who um, spend years, if not sometimes a lifetime, trying to recover from the damage that is done uh, by dealing with unhealthy situations. I think, you know, I think it's hard for both, but I feel like in a way it, it might be harder for young men because they're kind of taught um, that they're not a man if they're not having sex or if they're not sexually active. And then I would encourage young men to know that, um, you know, it's, it's the same thing. Your body is sacred. You have to love yourself. You have to set the standards. You have to know that you deserve um, the best, you know, and that you are God's child. and. Um, that the right woman will be willing to wait for you as well. And uh, that is not everything. It's, it's completely overrated um, and, it's, and it's underrated within marriage. While respectively balancing prosperous careers as an actress, senior VP of Columbia Pictures and author, maintaining a successful Christian marriage is hard work. They spoke on the importance of creating a solid hierarchy in their home and gave us a glimpse into a future project for the new couple. The main thing is that the marriage has to come first. You know, your partner um, in Christ, your partner in life, and the person that God puts you with has to come first. And I think that, you know, as long as you focus on that and everything else is secondary, and even with your career, you know, it, it is a part of your purpose and it is a part of your calling, but your marriage is that first and that's what's going to help you you know achieve the things that you want to achieve and go in the right way and have good advice and have someone you know being your backbone and that has your best interest and you know that's yeah. kind of yeah totally completely agree and I feel like you know you do have to put the marriage first you have to work at it I mean every other area of your life you know when you go to the gym and you work out because you have goals you want to meet you know and you really take care of maintaining your body because it's important uh, we at work you know there are things that you want to achieve there's promotions you want to get and so we spend a lot of time focusing on those things and sometimes at the detriment of our marriage so the same way we focus on other areas we put our marriage first we work on our marriage we talk we read books together you know we do everything to maintain you know, just like a car you know you can't run a car into the ground you have to uh, do the maintenance on it and uh, and so you know we do we spend a lot of time in maintenance and even though we're traveling a lot 
you know, she's doing movies and I'm making movies and promoting my book and preaching and all those things. Um, you know, we, we like to this weekend, you know, we met in Baltimore and, you know, spending the weekend with our family. So we make it work, uh, even in the midst of hectic schedules. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're working on something. <laughs> we're working on something. Yeah, yeah. Our, our next project, uh, you know, I did a book um, called Produce by Faith. And so we're looking at doing uh, our next book together. Hi, I'm Megan Good. Hi, I'm Devon Franklin. And you're watching. And you are watching. DM Productions.